What up, y'all? Welcome to another video. All right. So, have you ever seen a conversation online or you're having a conversation about race or whatever and somebody inevitably brings a point and is like, black people can't be racist because, you know, and you're just like, wait, what? I don't think that's true. And then they're like, no, they can't be racist because they don't have power. And, and in order to be racist, you have power. And I'm just like, and you're just like, nope, that I don't. I don't think that's a thing, right? And they try to gaslight you and to make you think like black people can't be racist. Well, I'm here to tell you, uh, black people 100% can be racist. Anybody can be racist, okay? I remember the first time I heard that, I thought the definition of racism had changed because I literally, I was just like, wait, that's, last time I checked, literally anybody can be racist. And that is 100% true. So I'm gonna show y'all uh, based on definitions and facts, how literally anybody can be racist, all right? So, we go to the definition of racism. Racism, it literally says racism is prejudice, discrimination, or antagonism directed against a person or people on the basis of their membership in a particular racial or ethnic group, typically one that is minority or marginalized. Another definition says the belief that different races possess distinct characteristic abilities, qualities, especially to distinguish them as inferior or superior to one another. So based on those two definitions, those are the Oxford languages, Oxford definitions, anybody 100% can be racist because it says the belief, the, like I said, the second one straight up just says the belief or it says prejudice, discrimination, or attack directly against a person or people based on their, or basically on their race. Right, even though it says typically one that is minority larger group, it doesn't say only, it says typically. So anybody be, can be racist because all you have to do is just believe your race is superior or show discrimination based on somebody or prejudice based on somebody that's a different race. Based on those definitions, black people can 100% be racist. Matter of fact, I would argue it's racist to assume that black people can't be racist. <laughs> Because now you're saying, nah, there's no way. Black people, especially, they can't be racist. There's no way that they're racist. No, let us be equal like everybody else. Every human being, don't try to take that away from us. Everybody can be racist. Everybody, anybody can be prejudiced, discriminate. Anybody can have a belief. Black people are smart enough to have a belief to think they're better than everybody else. That's it. I don't know where they came up with this definition. Well, I mean, I do know where they came up with this definition, but yeah, like anybody can be racist. And people also don't know like the difference between like discrimination and prejudice and stuff. So here's some facts and things on that. Um, Miriam Wester says prejudice, there's a couple definitions, but basically prejudice is an adverse opinion or learning formed with just grounds or before sufficient knowledge. Um, or another definition is an irrational attitude or hostility directed against an individual, a group or a race in their supposed characteristics, right? So that's what prejudice is. And then discrimination is the unjust or prejudicial treatment of different categories of people or things, especially on the grounds of race, age, or sex. So basically, I say all that to say that if you're racist or you do something in racism, usually there's, there's, there's discrimination involved and usually there's a prejudice. Now, you can be prejudiced and not discriminate. There's people that hold beliefs of things and not discriminate people, you know? Maybe, like I said, I don't know if you're still racist because basically the definition of racism and prejudice is in there, but you can still be prejudiced and not discriminate. You can think something about a certain group of people and not act based on that thinking. You can think something about a certain group of people and not act and not tailor your behavior in a certain way. However, once you discriminate, you start discrimination, 100% you're prejudiced. So basically, just because you're prejudiced doesn't mean you're discriminate, but if you discriminate, you're 100% prejudiced. So basically, I'm saying all that to say black people can be racist, bro. Anybody can be racist. <laughs> You know, the, de the definition that they're thinking of uh, is worth it. I guess what has to do with systematic racism, which, um, yeah, basically, if you want to know what systematic racism is, um, this is the definition of that. I could read it out loud, but I'm not going to because I just don't feel like doing that. So uh, you can pause the video and read if you uh, want to know what that is. Um, but yeah, like definitions of systematic racism, institutional racism, um, which this is the definition of institutional racism, which I'm also not going to read because I, I'm lazy and I don't feel like doing that. Pause the video. Um, those two things 
that's where they're getting that from. That's where they're like, oh, well, you know, black people don't have power and rights and all this other stuff. Basically, that's a Western term. I'm not going to hold you because I don't think the rest of the world has that kind of like definition when it comes to racism. Even to find the definition of things, you can't like I had to like look at different websites and Google. I got it from um, OHCHR.org. Don't ask me what that stands for because I don't know. But yeah, like that's that's what that is, bro. Like I couldn't even find like in a dictionary. So those are not even like I'm not going to say they're real words, but they're not like dictionary words. They're like sociology terms that people came up with like basically like colleges and different sociology groups that people came up with not saying it's not valid because like I understand the definition of those but I think that's what some people confuse when they say oh black people can't be racist because they don't have power or whatever and institutionalized racism and systematic racism basically a bunch of buzzwords that they like to use and they try to they confuse those and be like well because of all those buzzwords black people can't be racist I'm like no black people just in America just don't have the same power as the majority group which is white people in america that's all that means that doesn't mean that black people can't hold a belief and act prejudice (laughs) you know if a black person goes up to a white person and goes i do not like you because you are white that is racism (laughs) you know if there's a black store owner and he goes no i will not give you service because you are white that's racism bro granted like most people nowadays aren't going to be that you know racially open about it maybe but like those kind of actions, those kind of behaviors, those kind of things, those kind of thoughts, that is racism. So next time a black person is like, no, that's, you know, black people can't be racist. Show them the video. Or like I said, just literally look up the definition of racism and show them racism and be like, hey, bro, this is what racism means. Not whatever the systematic and whatever you're talking about. Racism by definition, this is what it means. Show them that. And that's the end of that conversation. All right. So, uh, Yeah. Uh, you have any more things you'd like to know, like have a conversation about, leave a comment below. Have a great rest of your day. All right. Peace out.